learned to see music from a sheet of lines and black dots. All this from the chalk he held, the stick he conducted with, the love you can see in Mr. Taylor's hands. demonstrate the fruits of their labor here all the way from Spencerport, New York, are the members of the Wilson High School Concert Band to play one of the most popular marches. It is called, appropriately enough, Americans We, ladies and gentlemen, Terry Taylor and the Wilson High School Concert Band. band under the leadership of Terry Taylor. They are the final group representing the performing arts. And earlier this evening, you saw performances by two other outstanding groups. The first performance was by the North High School Dance Company. And the second 
second was by the Performing Arts Class of Audubon Junior High School. <laughs> the arts are alive and well thanks to the dedication of teachers like these three honorees for outstanding performance arts teacher, Colleen Callahan. Performing arts teacher for 1991 is Terry A. Taylor. Where else? but in America. I'd like to thank my family, such a fine group of young men and women on this stage, of all of the groups. I'd like to thank the Spencerport Central School District and the Spencerport community. And I'd like to thank God for the privilege to accept this award on behalf of the countless number of teachers who serve as positive role models and who daily challenge their students to strive for their best. As a school community, we must encourage and support efforts to treat students as unique individuals with varying interests and ability levels. While not compromising high standards, we must, we must not base our efforts on the unstable philosophy that every student is an assembly line part that can be molded and crammed with a predetermined amount of knowledge. Accordingly, we must seek to educate rather than just train them. We must provide students with opportunities to learn how to discriminate between valid and invalid information. We must help ensure that students learn how to apply information and skills, not only in school, but also in new and unfamiliar situations outside of school. It is particularly fitting for me to conclude with the words of Walter Elias Disney. Our greatest natural resource is the minds of our children. Thank you. Observing group of honorees and all my years of attending and watching award shows. Before we ring the bell and dismiss this class for the day, there is one more item of business in the lesson plan to be dealt with, the selection of Outstanding Teacher for 1991. You might have noticed some of the well-dressed persons with papers in hand moving up and down the aisles as I have been speaking. Well, they are not hall monitors nor are they canvassers seeking names on a petition to raise teachers' salaries, though what a better place to get signatures than here tonight, right? <laughs> no, they are members of the prestigious accounting firm of Price Waterhouse, and their task for the moment is to hand out ballots to the nominees who will be voted to, so they, they are voting, excuse me, to select the outstanding teacher of 1991. Throughout the past three days, all of our teacher honorees have been atten attending various conferences and functions and getting to know each other on a personal basis. This, added to the information they have gained tonight, makes them very qualified to select their own teacher of the year. Once they have filled out their ballots, Price Waterhouse will collect them, immediately have them tabulated, 
and we'll be able to announce the results in a matter of minutes. Meanwhile, to refresh all of our memories, here is a recap of the 12 finalists eligible for the title Outstanding Teacher for 1991. There are so many neat things going on because it affects kids on a personal level. Because you look in retrospect to the past to see what we've done wrong and to begin to see what it is that we need to do for the future. I want them to say, you give me the information and I'll try to digest what I can of that information. I also want them to have respect for learning. I want them to see new ideas as something exciting. I never really passed math at all until I got here. One of the things that I do first is try to give them the image that math is real. I know that math is in the buildings downtown. The rate at which that car goes down the street. My philosophy about children and about teaching and learning is that every child who comes my way or has to go through my hand is sacred. Peer pressure is so strong at this time to do things that are against your best judgment. Now you put alcohol into your system and now we've got a whole nother set of factors to deal with. There's just something between the, the kids and the animals. The animals bring out a tenderness in the kids. I, I think it's a chance for the kids to show love and affection and, and to give some back for a change and not necessarily get slapped in the face, which a lot of them do. I think reading is, is really important. For these kids, it opens up the world for them. They see a lot of things that are happening out there, things that they can't always be exposed to because their parents don't have the time, the money, or the opportunity to take them. And so we take them through books. I can really see in a child's eyes. They, they want to communicate. They want to say it, and they're trying so hard. Tell me whatever language. It doesn't matter. I want to hear it. And after that, we can turn it into English. The important thing is that they have something to say and that I'm listening. We strive to be successful, and winning is very important. But on the other hand, it's how you win that really counts for me. You can play the game of life fair and square, and you can play basketball fair and square. I truly believe in this. This is something I, I try so hard to do, is to demystify the arts. There, there's no mystery here. There's no magic. It's just a lot of hard work and acquisition of skills. I just want to take him home with me and keep him forever. I teach because I think I can make a difference. I love it. Uh, when you love what you're doing and you think you're, you're making a difference, what more can you ask for? He doesn't just care about the music as much as he cares about you, the student, and how you see music in your life. To explain how these 12 honorees were chosen, it's necessary to go back a bit in time. In April of this year, an education steering committee comprised of representatives of the nation's leading educational organizations reviewed hundreds of applications submitted by teachers from all over the country. 36 teachers, three in each of 12 categories, were selected. Each teacher receives an honorarium of $2,500 and is recognized in tonight's American Teacher Awards. Earlier this month, the Education Steering Committee reconvened to select the outstanding individual teacher in each of the 12 disciplines. The committee members review the teacher's original applications and individual five-minute video profiles produced for a special series titled, The Disney Channel Salutes the American Teacher. Voting individually, the committee members selected one of the three teachers in each of the 12 disciplines to be recognized for his or her outstanding contribution. The schools of each of these 12 teachers will receive an additional $2,500 in the name of their honored teacher. Tonight's honorees met for the first time in October at the special 20th anniversary celebration of Walt Disney World. The teachers and their guests were flown to Orlando, Florida from all across the country. The weekend events included a special homecoming parade in their honor down Hollywood Boulevard at the Disney MGM Studios.
Throughout the weekend, the teachers had time to get to know each other and exchange ideas and teaching experiences. Following the parade, each teacher was presented with a special citizenship award from Walt Disney World, recognizing their contribution to education. As I've been listening to the marvelous stories that you've heard tonight, I am pleased that the Walt Disney Company, along with our friends at Coca-Cola and Delta Airlines, have been able to create a forum to showcase the talents of these 36 remarkable individuals who serve as such fine examples of the best that our country's educational system has to offer. This second annual presentation of the American Teacher Awards has turned the spotlight on some of our country's unsung heroes, its teachers, and has served as a small reminder as to just how important a role teachers have played in each of our lives. The American Teacher Awards aims to make us all realize that teachers are worthy of the respect and admiration earned by many of our country's most well-known individuals, like all the stars who have come here this evening. We all have memories of at least one teacher who touched our souls in a special way, and in so doing may have changed the way we saw the world, sparked our interest in a certain subject, or helped us better understand ourselves or the people with whom we deal every day. And I suspect even Belle from Beauty and the Beast had such a teacher who instilled in her a desire to read and to be a literate person. Over the past year, we've been planning for tonight's event, starting with the distribution of applications across the country last winter, through a very detailed application review process this summer to the selection of the 36 teachers who were honored tonight. Thanks to a wonderful group of dedicated stars and entertainers, this show has served as a stirring tribute to our nation's teachers. We have seen tonight representatives of the teaching profession who have given the show luster and nobility. Now, through the voting process, that is going on even as we speak, the teachers themselves are about to select one of their own to be named the Outstanding Teacher of 1991. With the title comes an honorarium from the Walt Disney Company of over $50,000. $25,000 to the teacher, another $25,000 to his or her school, plus $10,000 more to the school district. And now, if the ladies and gentlemen from Price Waterhouse will give me the results, I will announce the outstanding teacher of 1991. Thank you. The outstanding teacher of 1991 is Edward M. Schroeder.
I took long, a long time getting my picture taken because I was shaking so much after I had won one of these little fellows. And, and I'm sitting there talking to her, saying I don't know where I'm going to put the one on my desk because my desk is so cluttered and dirty. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. For those people who are sitting in this audience and know me and, and, and to see me fumbling for words, I know that you don't believe this because I usually can't be made to shut up. If I had to sing anything, I would sing the praises of these corporations again. I, I don't know what to say to the 35 of you who, who did this to me. Uh, <laughs> All I can say is thank you for what you did for me. And I know that I'll never be the same again. When, when you win an award like this, you spend the rest of your career living up to it. And I want to accept this on behalf of the thousands, thousands of teachers that are better than I am in this country, who go to work every day, getting their little paychecks, and getting very, very few rewards, not to mention a check for $25,000. Kids, it's going to be a great Christmas this year. <laughs> Let's get to the party. Thank you very much.